Uber is making waves once again in Austin, this time as part of a federal investigation. The Night Beats' Tina Shively has been looking into this story. She has the latest now, all new at 10. The Department of Justice has contacted Austin City Transportation and Aviation Department employees and told them they can expect subpoenas. Our sister publication, USA Today, reports the agency is looking into the company's ghost app program known as Grayball. I reached out to Uber for confirmation, and they directed me to this blog post on their website about the technology issued back in March. It explains Grayball's intended usage, including testing new features by employees and to deter riders using the app in violation of the company's terms of service. The post also says it began, quote, prohibiting its use to target action by local regulators. The New York Times first reported on the technology back in March, claiming a code enforcement inspector in Portland, Oregon, tried to hail an Uber car in a sting operation against the company. Now, here's what that may have looked like on the inspector's phone. We've recreated it here. Some of the digital cars they saw in the app did not represent actual vehicles. Others quickly canceled. Now, the paper says that was because Uber used Grayball to tag the inspector as a city official. It showed a fake version of the app populated with ghost cars to evade capture. The Department of Justice did not return my request for more information on the investigation. The city of Austin has not received any subpoenas. Tina Shively, KVU News. Univers